Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 139. Multiple SharePoint document locations for a row. Power Apps Portals makes it easy to expose the SharePoint documents related to a row in Dataverse. In tip number 35, we covered how to set it up. However, Power Apps Portals only works with one document location per row. But in a model-driven app, it's possible to define many document locations for a row. So what happens on a portal when a row has multiple document locations? The simple answer is that it pulls whichever SharePoint document location was created first. Now that you know that, you can take advantage of that information to help solve some common challenges. For example, let's say you want to have two different document locations for a row, one that is public on the portal, and one that is only accessible from a model-driven app. This can be accomplished by ensuring that the public document location is created first. Typically, we use Power Automate to create both the document location rows, as well as the corresponding folders in SharePoint, in the order that we want. Another thing to keep in mind is that in order for a document location to be displayed on a portal, it needs to be associated to the SharePoint site configured in Dataverse as the default. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 139 on multiple SharePoint document locations for a row useful.